हरि ओम माई नेम इज अपूर हुसैन सरकार आई एम फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड माई फर्स्ट इम्प्रेशन अबाउट नाउ तुजिया प्रेम ए फेस्टिवल ऑफ लव डी वाई पाटिल इज नोन टू बी अ क्रिकेट ग्राउंड एंड द लास्ट आई रिमेंबर इट वॉज द होम ग्राउंड फॉर द पुणे टीम इन आई थिंक टू थाउजेंड इलेवन आई पी एल आई डोंट थिंक द स्टेडियम एज सीन क्राउड लाइक दिस एवर बिफोर फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड नॉट इवन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द स्टैंड सच क्राउड्स एंड जनरली इन अ क्रिकेट मैच दर इज अ लूजिंग साइड एंड देर फॉर दे बी लूजिंग सपोर्टर्स फॉर ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ मे टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन देर नो लूजर्स एवरी वन वॉज अ with a heart full of love towards the one and only param pooja anirudh bapu and what is most interesting to note is that people from all across the world from 38 countries witnessed this festival of love and which is a coverage which i believe would be higher more large larger bigger than any other cricketing spectacle in the world what stands out is as many people have already mentioned is that most of the songs were in marathi but language didn't stand as a barrier for anyone to experience the kind of love that bapu has towards each and every one who believes in him truly it was also important to see and it was interesting to see that not only was the ground full of people the stands were also filled completely end to end with people who had come since 8 o'clock in the morning and that again shows the kind of devotion and dedication that people have towards the one and only satguru it was also very hot and it is surprising to an extent that not one reported case of stroke happened throughout those 3 to 4 hours of extensive sunlight that people were subjected to and the reason is only one because no one felt the heat because everyone's attention was towards the songs was towards bapu dada and i it was a sea of people multitudes from all across the country as i just mentioned and all across the world through a seamless webcast and bapu ensures that no one who believes in him gets left out from opportunities like this where they can themselves first hand experience his love and his care that he has for each and every individual the arrangements were brilliant to say the least but let's not delve on that any further because a lot of people have spoken about it already was also interesting was to notice that each and every volunteer who worked towards this function towards this grand celebration had probably not slept for about a couple of days to 3 days but on that day everyone had a smile everyone greeted everyone else and there was no scope for anyone to show any kind of exhaustion and i believe the exhaustion would only have come in once they would have gone back home and then realized okay i haven't slept for 3 days because when it comes to celebrations like these sleep definitely takes a back stage and exhaustion also gives you time to enjoy and then it hits you but at the end of it all about 6 hours of sitting on one chair which i have never managed actually have never managed and that's why i don't like going to one day internationals and test matches as well because it's too long to sit there but 6 hours i could manage without realizing i had been sitting at that one position for such a long time and is all because of that one feeling towards the one and only sadguru param pooja anirudh bapu i was also having a word with a couple of people who sang those songs and i said i wouldn't say that you sang well i'd say that bapu made you sing well on that day there were people with different qualities of their singing strength different levels of their singing strength but everyone spoke everyone sang equally well because it was not how you sang it was about the bhav the feeling with which you sang and that feeling of love was equal for everyone because bapu wanted the 55000 in the stadium and the thousands others in the 38 countries to know that that is the feeling that everyone should have it's a day that i don't think anyone who witnessed will forget easily and i know that bapu will not let them forget easily may has been a month which has been punctuated by a lot of things in my life actually on the 26th of may a very good friend was supposed to get married we had booked tickets to go to his marriage 
But when we saw Dada's blog saying that this celebration is going to be at D.Y. Patil, Shilpi, my wife and I, we knew that this is not going to be the regular one. We cancelled tickets and I am thankful to Bapu for having given us that thought to cancel the tickets because this was something that we wouldn't want to have missed. I can see my friends wedding videos and also enjoy but seeing the video of this one after it would have happened, this festival on the 26th wouldn't have given me as much joy as that. Also 20, 20th of May is when I joined another company in a better position and 26th, just six days after that, Bapu said, this is for you, another celebration. Bapu, thank you for everything, Ambadna. And uh, as many people have said, we are hoping and looking forward to part two. And as Samir Dara says, it'll be grander, it'll be bigger. We really look forward to it. Hari Om, Ambadna. <laughs>